Well, many uh, business and community leaders have made their way back home. There are still some who remain, though, here at the Grand Hotel on Mackinac, including Dan West, the president of the Livonia Westland uh, Chamber of Commerce. Joining us live, good morning to you, Dan. Good morning, and, Jonathan. Uh, a lot of things uh, discussed uh, on the porch, in the bars, in the hotels. <laughs> sometimes, it's what happens here. Yeah, sometimes outside of the hotel is, is where yeah. you, you really learn the real stuff. Uh, what did people learn this year? Uh, what did you pick up? Well, one of the interesting things was that um, um, the governor, along with three county executives, talked about expanding Automation Alley to include Wayne and Macomb, along with Oakland County, the traditional partner, uh, to expand uh, the opportunities for 3D metal printing for particularly small and medium-sized manufacturers who can't afford 3D metal printing equipment. Now, we do have a, a company in Livonia called Shapeways does 3D metal printing, but it's, it give small businesses access to this network that's supposed to allow them to print, make parts, make small vehicles, all this stuff, uh, without having to buy the equipment themselves and allow these small businesses to be more competitive on a global scale. So what was the most fascinating thing that, that you heard here, uh, interesting people that yeah. you met? Well, the, the one thing that jumped out to me is several sessions talked about, and I've kind of believed this in my job through the years, business and civic leaders are going to lead change. We tend to think we lean on politicians to lead change, and politics is just inherently a reactive industry. It just is. Either side of the aisle doesn't matter. So as business and civic leaders bring good ideas together and then get politicians to support it, that is where a lot of messaging went through that. And finally, uh, Livonia Westland, uh, taking it away from the conference, you know, I, I keep hearing almost every day new restaurants opening up mm -hmm. in, in your area, mm -hmm. new chains coming there. It, it's just expanding tremendously, huh? And there's a lot of demand for uh, new apartments. The whole metro area, developers are saying we need more apartments. And if you can tell with the housing market, now it's very tight, yeah. not much option out there. But there's a need for young talent, so you got to have places for them to live. And I think the new restaurant, that placemaking, adding apartments, adding more uh, homes that young people can get into is key to any uh, uh, community development. And that innovation alley, is that... Uh adding jobs retaining you know smart young people what exactly was that it grows capacity the one thing we're hearing is that the space aerospace and defense industry there's it's basically macomb county right now but they need more capacity and i think this could allow more manufacturers in western wayne and throughout metro detroit to uh participate in that and um take advantage of uh the, the drones and the parts and the rockets and the satellites that could come with that industry that we hear is coming and could be uh very helpful to the metro detroit area yeah i know uh, u of m is also participating mm -hmm. in that I, I guess the the goal is to hopefully have you know new talent uh, developing mm -hmm. there yeah. and then staying in michigan and spreading across your area into into oakland county and beyond oh, yeah. that whole corridor between yeah. ann arbor that's what the university of michigan what is it, a billion dollar investment over the next 10 oh, years yeah, yeah. to expand that corridor but a lot of that is keeping the young talent right here we talk about population loss yeah. if we have good exciting jobs to keep talent here then that will grow the population grow industry and grow our potential here in our area yeah very cool all right dan west as always uh, thanks so much for your time